Hello everyone, this is Sherwin here from TechOS and today I'm going to be taking a look at how you can use the new multitasking features in iOS 11. So multitasking capabilities have been added to the iPad on top of what capabilities, you know, slide over, split multitasking that we previously had and some of them are going to be very obvious when you first boot up your iPad uh, and others maybe not so. So I'm going to go through all of them so you can get an understanding about how it all works. So firstly down here as you probably noticed there's this new thing here called the dock. So I say new but we've had a dock previously on the iPad but it was sort of fixed there and I think you could only have up to five applications sitting there. Now however as you can see it looks more like the one you're familiar with on macOS. It's designed to help you be more productive and you can put more stuff in it. So you can have many apps in it and there are two sections to it. So on the left here you've got your user customizable area where you put uh, all your different apps that you want to have in there. I think you can have up to 13 apps at the moment, or well, that's what I found uh, when I tried to load it up. Uh, that may change later on, but at the moment it's 13 and we we'll probably will stay like that. So you've got your user customizable area here. You've got, a, you'll see, there's, I don't know if you can see on the camera, there's a little line over here, just like on macOS. And here you've got uh, three apps which kind of stay here. And these are predictive suggestions for apps. So this is where uh, you can access app previously used apps, so recently opened apps that aren't, that aren't already here will appear here so you can quickly get back to them as you need to and here this is also where your handoff apps live so I've actually got notes open on my Mac so I've got a little icon down there which I can obviously use to enter that note rearranging these is easy so you can just take music perhaps if I want over over here I can have it like that instead and adding apps is easy so I can just drag one from my home screen and add it in and then the, the dock sort of shrinks to accommodate them all and then I can drag it back out and put it back to where it was and I'll just move this back to how I had it before. So that's the dock, it's very simple, it can be accessed from obviously the home screen, it can be accessed from anywhere within the system so unlike previously we had to be on the home screen, this time if I just do a quick flick up I can access the dock and then just, I don't know, tap to anything and it will go straight into that. So that's how that works, it's very simple uh, but you get the idea, that's basically how we flick up and that it goes to another app. Uh, next thing I'm going to talk about is the multitasking switcher. So I'll go back to the home screen. It's been revamped in iOS 11 on the iPad. The iPhone stays the same, uh, but with the iPad, if I double tap, as I usually do, I get my multitasking view. So from here, I can see I've got on the left here, I've got right, sorry, I've got my control center. And I did a separate video on that. So if you click up here or somewhere around this area of the screen, top right, you can click and access my control center video where I go through how that works. Uh, but today we're going to focus on this side. This is the multitasking, obviously. You've got your little thumbnails of all your apps. And they're ordered uh, in this way, so it's kind of like a snake arrangement, so it goes like that. So the apps there will go like that. So I use that one most recently, then that, then that, then that, so that way. Closing them, you just have to swipe them up and they get out of the way like that, so it's nice and simple. Uh, like you had in iOS 10 and that's basically the multitasking app switcher you can access it from anywhere by just double tapping as you traditionally do or by just swiping up from the bottom once you've got the dock so if I go into Safari what I can do is I can swipe up once to bring the dock swipe up again to bring multitasking or what I can do is I can swipe up and continue to swipe up and I'll access multitasking like that so there are a variety of ways to access things in iOS 11 based on this, this whole swiping gestures. So that's the multitasking app switch and next we'll move on to the split view. So as before, we've had split view before, we're used to, we've had it for a few years now, uh, but it's been improved in iOS 11. So uh, what I can do is I can go into Safari here and it's done a bit differently in iOS 11. So instead of sliding in from the right like you do before, what you can do is you can swipe up to access your dock and simply drag another app in and it comes in this sort of window view. So this is a view which you have on the side, small area, and unlike previously, I can now move that to the other side. And also, unlike previously, both of these are active, so what I can do is I can actually scroll on both of them and you can see I can interact with both of them at the same time, whereas previously, if I tapped over here, that one would disappear. So that's nice to have that feature. Now what I can do is I can hide an app by simply just dragging it across this side and just sort of pulling it off and then if I want to bring it back I can just swipe it back in. So that is obviously a nice uh, feature to have. And what I'm going to do actually now is hide YouTube, uh, just keep it there actually, and what I'm going to do is bring in Maps using my recent, obviously suggested it as a recent app. And here I've got a map here, just a map view. And what I can do 
is initiate a split view so if I want to make them fixed in place I can just see this little uh, bar at the top white thing all I do is just drag that down and it initiates the traditional split view that we've been used to in previous versions of iOS so then I can obviously go ahead and drag it and make it a 50-50 split so I have um, you know 50% Safari 50% maps and that's basically the split view so it works as before now what I can do is with iOS 11 I can access my dock and I can actually drag another app into uh, to replace one of these sort of sides. So if, as an example, I'm going to take the new Files app and I'm going to just replace it, uh, you know, replace Maps with the Files app, and that will just sit in there. And then Maps is gone and Files is now there, and I can continue going like that. So what I can also show you now is that spaces are preserved in your multitasking window. So I just created an app pair containing Safari and Files, and as you can see, that is still there. So what I can do now is I go into maps and you can have multiple spaces with split screen apps. So now what I can do, I can go into here and I can add mail to the left side, just drag it in, go straight to a split view if I just drag it all the way to the left instead of just dropping it in the middle of the screen. And then what I can do is I can actually go up and see I've got both of my spaces just sitting there uh, and I can switch between them by just doing my familiar four finger gesture like that. So it works just as you'd be used to on something like Mac OS. If you've used Mac OS before, the ability to swipe between different spaces, uh, that's now here on iOS. Finally, I'm going to show you drag and drop, which is the last part of the multitasking features in iOS 11. And to do this, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to make this a 50-50 split. And drag and drop works just as the name suggests. So it allows you to drag content from one app to another. So here I've got a little description here in maps and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy this text and I'm going to drag this, just tap and hold, wait for it to sort of pick up the selection and then just drop it into mail. So that's how simple it is. I've noticed that apps have to support it. Uh, if you use it in just any old app, uh, which obviously isn't made by Apple, I found a lot of them don't work, so you can't actually drag stuff out of it or drag or drop stuff into it. So I guess as developers get access to the APIs and they can uh, start developing their apps for iOS 11, you'll be able to do it with more apps. So just something to let, just something to put out there. It might not work with all your apps. Uh, finally, part of drag and drop is the ability to access things from within apps without having to go into the app. So at the moment, the only example I can find is the Files app. But what I can do is if I tap and hold on the Files app, uh, the icon, I get a list of some of my f recent documents. I can tap show more to show some more content and this is like Mac OS as well. So what I can do is I can just take this, I think this is a PDF, I can just drag it here into this email uh, and that will just drop there. Obviously I need to place it where I want it to be, not in the middle of the text but you get the idea. So that's basically how that works. So there are all the multitasking features in iOS 11. There, um, Obviously a lot of things have been added and some of the things are just sort of enhancements of previous features obviously you can now use two live apps without being in the split view so that's nice something which wasn't there before and drag and drop obviously it's a big thing which will add a productivity boost to the iPad especially with the iPad Pros but anyway that's it for this video if you have any questions or comments uh, then do leave them in the comments section of this video and also do get in contact with me using the details that are in the description of the video if you've got any questions. Please remember to like, comment and you can hit subscribe by watch by tapping the logo in the middle of the screen and also do consider watching the videos that are either side of that logo. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.